Good evening. Hey Good evening, guys. teacher. Good evening. Thank you very much for joining. Give me one moment. Solo voy a compartir la pantalla. And I'm going to open your presentation. So remember, guys, that today we're going to be uh, working with section three. ¿verdad? Nos toca la sección tres. Eh, le voy a compartir aquí la, el recordatorio, ¿verdad? De la sección tres. So this is what we're going to be working on. Ahorita les comparto mi pantalla. Okay. And we're going to begin with the attendance too, right? Vamos a ver. Today is the 29th. Eh, Ada Agar Burgos Magaña. Ada. Brenda Isabel Castro Ruiz. Claudia Lisette Velázquez de Salgado. Damaris Saraí García Cerón. Presente. Eh, gracias, Damaris. Eh, Daniel Alejandro Llanes Díaz. Mejor teacher. Thank you. Eliu Fernando Flores Díaz. Present. Thank you. Eh, Elsie Cristina Coreas de Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Flor Noemí Dimas de Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Antonio Calderón Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto Jiménez Rivera. Gabriel José Hernández López. Gisela Emperatriz Cañas Bonilla. Present. Thank you, Héctor Iván Pérez Martínez. Ibai, no, Iván Ibrahim Ramírez Quijano. Julio César Campos Yara. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Alicia Barrera Mena. Eh, Carla Elena López Rivas. Kevin Alexander Sánchez Ramos. Present. Thank you, Kevin. María Dolores García de López. Present, teacher. Thank you, Rebeca María Rosales Romero. Present. Thank you, Wendy Paola López Martínez. Xiomara Violeta Salazar Iraeta. Present. Thank you. And Jocelyn Elizabeth González Cartagena. Very good. Vaya, chicos. Let's begin then, right? So. Present teacher, Brenda Isabel. Vaya, ya le ponemos, Brenda. Gracias. <laughs> Okay, now guys, I'm going to begin with the very first point. Okay, so it says by the end of this lecture, participants will be able to greet and introduce themselves using. Oh, espérame, creo que estoy poniendo la que no es. Aquí está. Okay, this one is right. The first one, no, porque me parece esto. with me. Sí, está. Ahí está. Ahí sí. Okay, we are going to talk a little bit about holidays and festivals, right? This is unit number eight, right? And it's related to holidays and festivals, right? So we have different festivals. And just let me check. Is this one, the one that you have on your manual, guys? Is this the one that you have on your manuals? Con esta inician ustedes en la sección 3? Yes, the ah, Okay, very good. Okay, so I was saying that um, we are going to talk about holidays and festivals. Here you have some examples, obviously, right? We have more, but here we have just some, some examples. So can I have some volunteers to read some of them? So let's begin with the Chinese year, okay? Volunteer to read about the Chinese year. Rebecca, thank you. Okay, 
um, time is New Year, mm -hmm. January or February. Chinese people celebrate with fire crackers mm -hmm. and lions dance. Okay, thank you so much. That is January or February, right? February. Okay, firecrackers. Well, they are very famous, right? Here in El Salvador too. What about Valentine's Day, Daniel? Okay, this is Valentine's Day. This is on February 14th. Mm -hmm. People in many countries give chocolate, flowers, or jewelry to the person they love. Mm -hmm, exactly, right? So actually uh, giving chocolates, right? It's very, very popular and actually it's very welcomed, right? Now, in my case, I'm not a fan of chocolate, let me tell you, but I, I think it's a, I mean, why not, right? Uh, as a present. So chocolate, right? Chocolate, flowers, and jewelry. Jewelry, right? Uh, what about Children's Day, uh, Francisco Antonio? Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Children's Day, formerly Boys Day, May 5. Mm -hmm. Japanese families put up colored streamers, mm -hmm. shop live fish, in honor of their children. Mm -hmm. That's totally right. Thank you. Uh, what about Date of the Dead, uh, Julio Cesar? Day of the Dead, November 2. Mm -hmm. Mexican families offer food to the dead and then have a meal, a, a meal in a cemetery. Cemetery, right. Thank you very much. Uh, what about the last one, Thanksgiving, Gisela? No? <clears throat> Where are you, Gisela? Se fue. Okay, any other volunteer for Thanksgiving? No se escuchaba. No. ¿Aló? Sí, hoy sí le escuchamos. Sígame. Va. Thanksgiving, fall. In October in Canada, and in November in... Ah, está por... Ah, in, the... in the United States. In the United States, people celebrate the... Harvest. Harvest. Harvest my preparing a large. Permítame. Mm -hmm. Large meal they usually serve roast turkey. turkey. Okay, serve roast turkey. Roast turkey. Very good. I yes, harvest. Roast turkey. Mm -hmm. Hace falta una T al final, harvest. Okay. So thank you very much, Gisela, and uh, the rest of you guys. Now, uh, what else do you know, guys, about Chinese year? Or have you ever, have you ever been, to, because in El Salvador, we have a lot of, you know, people that celebrate Chinese New Year. Have you ever been part of a celebration? Have Or have you ever uh, seen or experienced how they celebrate this type of festival? Uh-huh. No? Not never. I mean, nobody. In the Independence Day. Oh yeah, yeah. No, pero estamos hablando de cada una de estas. Aquí en el Salvador hay gente que, bueno, hay, bueno, gente que no es de acá, pero que sí celebra el Año Nuevo Chino. ¿Alguna vez han estado ahí o han visto cómo se celebra, este, o, o saben de alguien que sí lo celebra? No. In my case, no. I see only some. A little group or uh -huh. in maybe in San Salvador, it's a community or Chinese community. Mm -hmm. But um, I sometimes I hear this this type of celebration, but I never seen. Mm -hmm. You never, you've never been there. Uh, yeah, never uh -huh. been. Okay, and actually, well, the one thing that I have observed, I have never been there. But I have seen pictures, right? One thing that I have observed is that they prepare lots of food. So they serve a lot of food. They have different dishes, right? And also they prepare some, I think they are called mooncakes. Have you ever heard about mooncakes? 
Mooncakes. Never, never. Never, okay. Let me see. I think I have it here. Mooncakes. No sé si ellos son, pero I think they do. Sure. Yes, this one, okay. But, uh, oh, cook, cooking, maybe. Uh, Mooncake. No, I, I don't. Esos son los mooncakes. They yeah. are very famous in the Chinese, uh, I mean, chi the, the, the celebration of New Year uh, for Chinese people, right? So they are called mooncakes. They are beautiful, right? Can you see the, the, the craftsmanship, right? Yeah. They are so beautiful. They are like uh, decorated in, 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 in with beautiful, um, I don't know, kind of patterns. Shapes, right? shapes, uh, maybe. No, patrones. Uh -huh. Es un patrón que ellos siguen. Uh -huh. the different pa you see, these are patterns. These are the patterns, right? The different patterns that they can uh, use, right? Or outlines. También se le llama outlines, okay? So, they are beautiful. Look, okay? And it says here, right? Okay. That seems delicious, teacher. Yes, it looks. It says, eh, el pastel de luna, it's a sweet, a Chinese sweet that is eaten traditionally in this, you know, festival, right? One of the most important ones in China. This uh, festival eh, focuses around the moon, right? And these mooncakes or cakes are part of the celebration. So its origins uh come from the second age of the chinese empire right so that is you know el pastel de luna mooncake okay what about guys what about valentine's day okay so um how do we celebrate you know valentine's day in el salvador raise your hand if you want to participate how do we celebrate a uh, valentine's day in el salvador It says, uh, well, uh, Hector. Yeah, teacher. Good, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, in my case, I celebrate Valentine's Day with my family because uh, we uh, change the, the, the gift. Ah, oh, really? With my, with my daughter and my wife. You exchange, and, exchange presents. Yeah, from uh, say a uh, uh, friend secret. Uh, yes, it said I am a secret friend. Secret, secret friend. friend. Uh huh. And, and only that. Okay, I like it. Right, so you exchange presents, intercambian regalos, or you played a uh, secret friend. Como en Navidad, ¿verdad? Que es el amigo secreto, Secret Santa. De ahí viene más que todo la, creo yo, la... And, 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 uh, well, and I like that because you, you know, you have that time with your family too. So, what else, Yomara? Uh, yes, uh, as our classmate said, uh, we celebrate here in our country, Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. uh, we celebrate at work. Uh, uh -huh. we decorate and we we uh, gave us gave each other a gift with the play secret print too exactly Xiomara and actually it's important that part uh, that you were mentioning the decoration right because uh, generally in El Salvador uh, I mean in the past we didn't do that. Yo me acuerdo que no se hacía mucho eso, pero luego con estas tiendas que venden de todo, super barato, de todo and, para fiestas. And besides that, we we have a, a in here at home a cake to share with ah, the family. Ah, okay, very good. You see, it's been changing. Ha ido cambiando esa celebración. Se han fijado, mm -hmm. okay? That thank yes. you, uh, Daniel. What about you? Yeah, I think that in the Salvadoran. Um, Holidays in Valentine Day. It's start to the first February first and finish to the twenty eighth of February. In all, in all, um, 
for example, in TV, in radio, in the social media, in all Spain. It's, we Salvadorians spend uh, with these holidays for, for Valentine in February. <laughs> I mean, uh, I spend all the month. <laughs> yes, actually, it's become, you know, something very like, it has been commercialized, right? Like uh, consumerism uh, has come, you know, has become the most important part of it, el consumismo, ¿verdad? Consumerism yeah. has taken away, you know, some of the fun some of some celebrations, okay? Thank you, Daniel. Uh, Ivan, please. Good evening. Good About evening. About the Valentine's Day, uh, we know that is our... Our country is celebrate uh, this day. Mm -hmm. Probably uh, every 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 year we 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 have a, we get a, a opportunity to give a, a, a our guy our our wife uh, my mother uh, my sister uh, some gift. Mm -hmm. It's a, a, a very very opportunity. To demonstrate is the our low uh, uh, que nosotros queremos. Uh, yes, exactly. It's kind of showing someone that you care and that you love them, right? Or in yes. this case, your family, right? Okay, very good. Because something that uh, I have noticed too is that uh, Valentine's Day. Uh, in the past, it was, you know, kind of ro uh, for romantic couples, right? In, in, in But uh, nowadays, I think um, I like that change because we celebrate Valentine's and we celebrate friendship and family. And I think it's good. I mean, it doesn't have to focus directly on couples or boyfriend, girlfriend, or wife and husband, right? It's for family and friends too, okay? Thank you very much. What about Children's Day, guide? What memories do you have about Children's Day? Have you ever celebrated? Were you given a present uh, for Children's Day, uh, Daniel? I don't know what is the celebration, but in the Salvador is in one first October 1st, I think and, it's October 1st, uh huh. Yeah, but this is a celebration in, or the house origin in, Jap in Japan. But uh, I don't know about this celebration. Can you tell me what is this? What is this? Oh, no, no, I'm asking for the one in El Salvador. Oh, El Salvador, yeah. yes. Uh, in, personally, I have two children, uh, two children, and mm -hmm. uh. Um, in family, we tr uh, was try to celebrate that that date in, with some gift or prepare some special food for 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 the evening mm -hmm. and it's a, and, a, and a good day. Okay, very good. Thank you, uh, Xiomara. Uh, yes, uh, here in the country, I think uh, the most important celebration for children are in the schools <laughs> the schools celebrate very yes. well uh, that day in my case with my children i just have a a, a, a present for for them and mm -hmm. that's all but in the school they enjoy a lot the party <laughs> <laughs> yes, they celebrated at school and they have, you know, a lot of activities, right? They have lots of fun. And Full as you said, candies. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they have a blast, right, at school. When, I mean, for children, say thank you. What about you, Hector? Yeah, the, chair, the same. I, I think uh, the same with my co worker because I celebrate. This day in my school, when I when I was a child, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, only that. Okay, very she, good. She, she, como se robó. I'm sorry. Mi, mi tía. She robó my tía. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't hear that. No le escuché esa parte. How do you say robó robar? Antifa. 
Mm, pero el qué, porque tenemos varias opciones. ¿Qué sería? Ella robó mi idea, mi idea. Ah, she stole my idea. <laughs> she stole my idea. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, María Dolores. Yes, Evie. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Um, my case, we celebrate the children's day at, at home. We take um, them, them out to eat. Mm -hmm. uh, we share gifts and they also do uh, some activity at the school. Yes, exactly. I mean, there are nowadays there are lots of parents that celebrate Children's Day. In the past, I remember I'm 30, I'm 37, right? So I remember we used to celebrate it at school, but at home you wouldn't get any presents or any gifts. And the celebrations were not that um, um fun as they are today actually I remember eating a slice of pizza and a, and you know a cup of soda and that was it right and then we had uh, the chance to play at school etc but now there are plenty of activities and um, they even you know have uh, bring you know stuff to the school so they can you know play and jump etc what about the next one guy date of the dead how do we celebrate date of the dead in el salvador how do we celebrate it well it's the same day it's november 2nd right so how do we celebrate it teacher and mm -hmm. my family uh, to go a uh, uh, cemetery, no sé cómo se dice. Cemetery. 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 No, um, es que no hay N, es cemetery. Cemetery. Uh -huh. Cemetery. Uh -huh. Every day in the November 2. Um, November 2nd. November 2nd. So you go with your family on November 2nd to the cemetery. Very good. Uh, Daniel? Yeah, it's the same with uh, my co- my, my co- how do you say? Compañera. I don't remember. My partner. My partner, okay. Uh -huh. uh, this holiday or this uh, celebration uh, we do with in family and we go uh, we go to the cemetery and carry on some flowers. Um, uh, it's like a traditional day because uh, in family spend in a few time and in the in the tomb for all um, relatives. Yeah, f familiars oh. with that, and we we have a a lot a lot of them, and and I spend few times in some side then we move on the other side the other tongue and mm -hmm. it's over okay so you spend some time right you spend some time in the different tombs and and uh also i i don't remember what's the other word that you said uh but the idea is that a uh, you like dedicate specific time, you know, for each of your relatives. Esa era la palabra, relatives, familiares, okay? Mm -hmm. Francisco. Well, thank you, teacher. Hey, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, perfect. Good evening, guys. Um, okay, in my case, I think so, that, that day is so, so difficult or so sad. Let me tell you why, because uh, we remember about the families or friends um, that who already died, right? Uh, but I think so you can spend time with your family um, and remember about her past or his past, right? Mm -hmm, exactly. I think that's important because, as you said before, it's it, it's it's a sad, you know, memory, 
but uh, if we celebrate it, right, we need to celebrate life or the good things, you know, the person did or the good stuff that the person left behind. And, and it's true, right? Uh, it's about how you remembered your relatives, even though it's a sad uh, festival or a sad celebration, we celebrate life, right, uh, Ivan? Yes, este, the day we know, este, we visit, we, we visit, we visit, visit, uh, the, visit pardon, mm -hmm. pardon, we visit the cemetery to leave a uh, flower for our day. Mm -hmm. In my case, este, my grandfather, my grandmother is several uncle, mm -hmm. uh, is several friends, a good friends too. Mm -hmm. But it's a big day because este, we remember. Uh, our our people uh, in, in the cemetery. Mm -hmm, that's right. And one thing, Ivan, also is that, uh, I mean, in Mexico, as you can see, Mexican families offer food. In our case, we don't do that. What we do is that we just, and I like it because we go to the cemetery, we clean, you know, the space, we renovate the space, right? We... Uh, remove and dust hmm? and paint the thumb and paint the uh -huh. we paint you know the different uh, structure of the thumb and thumb I'm sorry and also um we leave flowers right so I like it because it's just kind of I remember I mean I remember you I am here I'm going to clean this space that belongs to you and I'm going to leave you flowers right so thank you uh, Rebecca Okay, um, uh, with my family, mm -hmm. we, we, we visited the cemetery a few days before because it is mm. full on the days, uh, but, sure. but we get together and have a meal together, remembering stories mm -hmm. of relative my, with friends or family who have died. Exactly. Well, thank you, Rebecca, for sharing that. And, and you are so, so right. Actually, um, some people prefer to go before or after, you know, the, the uh, celebration because it's full of people, right? So uh, I think what you do is wise and you decide to wait and then you uh, can go after or you can go before, right? I like that idea. Thank you, Maria Dolores. Yes, teacher. Um... Solo agregar, uh -huh. in, in, in Santa Tecla Cemetery, they put wheels, uh -huh. no sé cómo, what do you say, rueda mecánica, algo así. I don't remember, ya lo busco. Continúo, ya se lo busco. Wheels and no games, algo así. Son como rides, no sé. Ajá, uh -huh, rides. Eh, entonces, eh, Colocan este, the put wheels and was the games mm -hmm. and take advantage to, to take the children y to have fun and remember those who hard to hold no longer mm -hmm. with how. Mm -hmm. eh, that's, well, that's true. It's what I was, uh, uno de sus compañeros también dijo algo así. Um, that we celebrate, right? We try to, uh, mechanical wheels, dice Rebecca Maria, okay? See, mechanical wheels. Bonita se los busco acá. Sporty wheel, I, I think. No, es que creo que tiene un nombre diferente. Ajá. Give me one second. Bueno, tengo una que es... Amusement park, right? Vocabulary. Vamos a ver el vocabulario. Veamos acá. Look, this book, lo busqué como amusement park rides, vocabulary. Y aquí tenemos uh, la dif uh, las diferentes cosas. Tenemos roller coaster, tenemos el carousel or merry-go-round. Merry go round, se dice en inglés, tenemos el Ferris wheel, bumping cars, water slide, clowns, acrobats, etc. Pero yo lo busqué como amusement park rides. 
Entonces, no sé si um, quedaría más o menos así, porque si yo luego le doy clic acá en Pictures, yo siempre le doy clic en Pictures para tener como, para comprobar, ¿verdad? Y aquí pueden contar ustedes este, más, más opciones, ¿verdad? Pero creo que lo podemos encontrar así. Amusement Park Rides. Uh -huh. eh, Xiomara, please. Thank you. Uh, well, in my case, uh, my mother passed away seven years ago. Mm. And we, each year, uh, my family uh, go mm -hmm. to the cemetery to visit my mother's tomb. Oh, I see. Well, I'm sorry to hear about the passing of your mother, Xiomara, yeah. but it's so lovely that all of you get together to go and, and remember yeah. her and dedicate some time to her, right? Okay, yes. thank you. That sounds so lovely. Uh, Julio Cesar. Um, teacher, uh, the tradition is, is to eat hojuelas. So true. I was about to say that, uh huh? And, and and where do you where do you get them? I mean, how do you prepare them? I really don't know how how do they prepare uh, how how do they prepare uh, it, the uh, among, I just only know that it's so difficult to 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 make them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true. Do you buy those? Um, what's the name? Uh, Ojuelas. Do you buy them, Julio Cesar? Not really. Not really, because it's so sweet. The... And also it contains a lot of oil, right? Yeah. It's greasy. That's true. It's greasy. Very good. So déjeme contestarle a su compañera aquí, permítame. Me voy a compartir los que encontré ahí para que les queden. Eh, dígame, Francisco. Thank you, teacher. <clears throat> uh, usually with my family, um, and this day, go to the cemetery, uh -huh. uh, put flower and the father pray. Mm -hmm. and it's very popular uh, in the cemetery walk uh, mariachis uh, some people people uh, usually uh, ask ask songs as ask, ask music uh, rancheras in this case uh, yes it's true uh, and to celebrate to celebrate this day so true francisco thank you so much and also they they like to play their relatives favorite songs right Right. Uh -huh. so they can uh, they can remember that right okay very good excellent guys thank you so much y luego pues tenemos una que es la última que es Thanksgiving right does any of you know uh, what is like the background history of Thanksgiving guys alguien sabe de dónde viene esa celebración have you heard about it Xiomara, please. I think it's from the United States, that celebration. Yes. Uh, they give thanks uh, for all the year, all that they have had in all the, the whole year. And that's, uh, they don't celebrate Christmas as we do. They um, have this, this celebration, the Thanksgiving. I think the last Thursday, of November, mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but it's the fourth Thursday of Four. November. Oh, the fourth. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's right. And and thank you, Simara. You are totally right. Actually, it's a celebration. Well, they celebrate it in Canada and in the United States, but uh, in the United States, it's on the fourth Thursday of the month of November. And as you were saying, uh, on that day, well, actually, for North American people. Thanksgiving, it's more important than Christmas. So for them, Thanksgiving, it's a huge celebration and they don't miss it, right? And as you were saying before, it's 
the opportunity they have to give thanks for all the blessings they have received throughout the year. Now, also, it has, you know, kind of a, the, the history behind it, right? And it includes, you know, uh, a ship that was called the Mayflower that arrived, you know, with these people coming from that section of Europe and that were called the pilgrims. And there was an encounter between the pilgrims and the and the um the native people, right, from the lands uh, that uh, we have there in the United States. So um the the thing here is that they you know uh hicieron las pases, right? And they celebrated together. So they, they learn from them. Aprendieron ellos de los nativos norteamericanos, ¿verdad? Por eso se le llama, eh, eh, perdón, por eso dice people celebrate the harvest, la, la cosecha. Harvest es cosecha, porque fueron ellos quienes les enseñaron a los otros, ¿verdad? Cómo trabajar la tierra ahí, ¿verdad? Esa tierra de los indios norteamericanos. Entonces, um, and then it says it is, they prepare eh, turkey, ¿verdad? I'm going to show you the menu. Les voy a mostrar el menú. Menu for Thanksgiving. Okay. Vamos a ver si encontramos algo. Vocabulary. Yes, we have here. Oh, actually, um, I'm going to show it to you. Lo voy a, se lo voy a poner aquí en el chat de este the WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, but this is the most beautiful. I'm going to share it with you here in the WhatsApp group. Just give me one moment. Ahí está. Okay. Teacher, I don't have a Bible in this moment. I will see. Ah, yeah, no problem. When I finish the class. Okay. Sí, no hay problema. Okay, eh, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so I share with you guys the, the vocabulary. Esta les compartí. Esa que está acá. Okay. So we have gravy, right? Ah, vaya, está bien, Carla Alicia. Dele, dele. Teacher. Okay. Ah. What is gravy? Es el... Ay, I don't know how to say that, but it's como la salsita que le ponen ellos al, al pavo. Oh, okay, uh -huh. thank you. You're welcome. Okay, tenemos mashed potatoes, which is el puré, ¿verdad? Eh, pero sí, es gravy, dice acá, de acuerdo a Lingui, que es la página que le recomendé. Dice salsa, jugo, jugo de carne. Uh -huh. eh, sí, es una salsa, el gravy. ¿verdad? Para acompañar una carne. Tenemos mashed potatoes, sweet jam, casserole. Este es como, eh, no sé si esa es la que le llaman a la patata dulce. I don't know what's, what's the name of it. Pero eso es un jam, mire. No, perdón, es dulce de calabaza, creo. No, es este, ve. Es esta. Ah. Ajá, esta es la como una patata, pero es como dulce. Uh -huh. Sweet potato, algo así. Okay. Ajá. Tenemos el cornbread, que es bien famoso también, ¿verdad? El pan de... Teacher, de... Teacher ese es como el camote de aquí, pregunta. Sí, creo que sí, algo así sería, fíjese. Ajá, el camote. Eh, tenemos cornbread, que es bien famoso, les decía, es el pan de... Eh, Elote. Maíz, maíz, Ajá. Maíz. Apple pie, ¿verdad? Tenemos los carrots and green beans, ham, turkey, the cranberry sauce. Este también es bien famosa, ¿verdad? Este, cranberry, cranberry. Sería arándanos, ¿verdad? La salsa de arándanos. Ok, y el apple sage stuffing. So, esto es para ponerle adentro al... Al, al, al turkey, ¿verdad? Apple, sage, ¿ok? So, that would be something like this. Algo así, ¿eh? It, it, dice que incluye eh, a golf form on his, uh, spices of sage. Son puras especias, ¿verdad? 
y con frutas. Uh -huh. And that it's, you know, en este caso manzana, ¿verdad? Ahí se lo ponen al, al, al pavo, ¿ok? So those are, you know, that's the menu. Those are the food um, eh, items that they have on their list, ¿ok? Entonces, that Very is... Mm? Delicious. <laughs> yeah, it looks delicious. Si no, si no han cenado, lo siento, chicos, ya le dio hambre, ¿ok? But yes, actually, it looks delicious. There are some people that come here to El Salvador that they have lived in the United States that celebrate Thanksgiving. In my case, I think it's okay. Es una celebración que yo siento que es muy bonita, right? Because you give thanks, you know, to um, the Lord for all the blessings that you have received and for uh, everything, right? So this is about the holidays. The, hmm? I'm sorry, it's similar to Christmas in, in El Salvador. Similar to Christmas, uh -huh. we celebrate it kind of like that in El Salvador, right? And they celebrate Christmas in a totally different way. But it's just a dinner. And then they go to bed and next day Santa right and left the presents, you know, under the tree. But in our case, it's party time, right? And we just have right. dinner, spend time with the family, and we stay up very late until very late. Okay. So this is about the celebrations, guys. Now, um, hicimos ese también, verdad, de las preguntas. The, we we talked about how we celebrate, you know, this type of um celebrations so it says complete the word map add two more words to each category right here we have guys a list of different words and we have four different categories so special occasions activities special foods and drink things we give and receive okay so let's go ahead and classify them take a couple of minutes to think about it solo deme un minuto voy a cerrar un par de ventanas acá mientras ustedes eh, terminan el ejercicio give me one moment Okay, guys, thank you. Let's go ahead and check the classification. I'm going to open up here. Ah, voy a agregar texto entonces. Okay. Vaya, chicos. Special occasions. Okay, what words can you find here, Carla? Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Anniversary and winning. Mm -hmm. Anniversary. Anniversary. And wedding. ¿verdad? Wedding. Very good. Now, what else can you can you add in special occasions? ¿Qué más podemos agregar aquí, chicos? Um, 
Dígame, Francisco. Eh... Dígame, Francisco, no se le escucha. Happy birthday. Dígame. El birthday, birthday. Ah, birthday, ok, muy bien. Right. Birthday. Ok, so... fireworks. Fireworks. Mm, no, eso entraría en, en, en otra categoría. Pero ahorita, ¿cuáles serían las ocasiones party especiales? Party. Party. But what type of party? Wedding. Ajá, ya está ahí, wedding. Ok, tenemos Disney. anniversary. ¿Ah? Bautizo o christening, bautizo. Uh, yeah, that's another one. Uh -huh. Esa sí entra. Para teacher. Es que fíjense que están hablando todos al mismo tiempo y casi no, les, no sé quién está hablando, perdón. Eh, si quieren, comencemos por la pregunta que nos acaba de hacer ahí el compañero. Creo que nos preguntó si es christening. Sí, es christening. Ok. Y eh, es, uh, se escucha así. Se lo voy a poner acá. Tal vez se escuchan ustedes ahí. Christening. Christening. Ok, christening es bautizo, se lo voy a escribir, ok, and yes, it's a special location, ¿verdad? Ups, perdón, acá, christening, christening, así, ok, christening, muy bien, luego alguien más estaba hablando, no sé quién era, perdón, pero es que como todos estaban hablando al mismo tiempo, no les entendí, entonces, ¿alguien más? Eh, Héctor, o oh, era usted, perdón, Flor. Yes, I said parades. Parades, como desfiles. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, oh. parades. Entonces, parades lo pondríamos en activities, ¿verdad? Oh, okay. eh, uh -huh. eh, dígame, Héctor, uh -huh. perdón. Divorce. <laughs> Special location, a divorce, ok. <laughs> a divorce. Eh, Daniel? And a graduation. Graduation, okay, very good. Graduation, okay. It, those are special locations, right? What about activities, okay? Now, your classmate said uh, parades, okay, yeah. Pero generalmente, pues, los parades son más que todo para festivals, ¿verdad? Pero con special locations, ¿qué palabras podríamos incluir acá? En activities, perdón. Dancing. Dancing, okay. Right. Dancing, ¿qué más agregarían party. ustedes? Party. ¿Mm? Parade, lo que, party. lo que nos decía su compañera, ok. Party, 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 fiesta. Ah, party, ok, party. Right. ¿Qué más? Fireworks. Right, fireworks. Um, o sea, discursos, speech o speeches. Eh, perdón, ¿quién, ¿quién está hablando? Disculpe. Eli Flores, speech o speeches, para discursos. Es una actividad. Ah, talk. Como dar, dar unas palabras. Sí. Ah, eso se llama, también está el brindis, ¿verdad? Un toast. Toast. Ajá. Sí. Eso, ¿A eso se refería usted? Sí, no, cuando hay una celebración, alguien da un discurso, ¿verdad? Digamos, una celebración, palabras alusivas, no sé cómo diría, o toast. A toast, a toast, un brindis, ajá, que dicen las palabras, pero ahí, ahí todo brinda, ajá, toast. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Eh, María Dolores. Eh, fire, fireworks, le decía yo. Ah, fireworks. Eh, Okay, fireworks. Very good. Uh, what about special food and drink, guys? What would you add here? Cake. Cake, okay. Dígame, Daniel. Champagne. Hmm? And this list says champagne. Yeah, that's true, right? Nunca le he probado, pero sí. Okay, champagne. Or like a beer, okay. too. Rush. Oh, wow. Well. Dígame, Carla. Uh, roast turkey. Roast turkey, ok, very good. Roast turkey, ok, very good. ¿Qué más, chicos? ¿Qué más agregarían? Cake, champagne, roast, turkey. Wine. 
perdón, levante la mano para que no se le, no se le, ajá. Dígame, Xiomara. Wine. Wine. Oh, wine. It's A true. cup of wine. A cup of wine. Ajá. Eh, what else? Solamente, chicos. What about things we give and receive? Okay, things we give and receive. Cards. Cards, muy bien. ¿Qué más? Present. Flowers. Flowers, okay. Present. Presents. Present. Uh -huh. Presents. ¿Qué más, Julio eh, César? No. I said present. Ah, okay. The microphone was mute. Ah, okay. Very good. Thank you. Eh, Daniel. Jewelry. Jewelry. Muy bien. Jewelry. That's true. Okay. ¿Qué más? Balloons or globos? Ah, balloons. Yes. Chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolates, right? Chocolates. Very good, etc. Right? So... We receive a lot of things, right? Now, let me go ahead and check because actually there should be a list, right? List of uh, popular presents. Let's see what we can find. Ya les paso algo de ese vocabulario. We have... Bueno, no hay así como con presents, presents, solo están como toys. No, no tengo una lista como de presents. Pensé que iba a encontrar una, pero no, solo de juguetes se encuentra, ¿ok? So, yes, exactly. Do, those words, you know, are the ones that we can classify into those four categories, special locations, activities, special food and drink, things we give and receive, ¿ok? So, good job, excelente. Now, uh, that we're talking about celebrations, guys. I want you to think what what was or what has been your favorite celebration? Like, a, I mean, a special occasion that you have celebrated. Can you type in the chat what is your most important celebration or occasion or something that you consider was um, the best celebration you'd ever had in your life? Can you type in the chat what that was? A celebration that is very important to you. Puede ser una celebración o puede ser una ocasión especial, ¿verdad? Entonces, let me see. Christmas, Chris, Christmas and New Year, dicen por acá también. So, the, those are the most important ones for you? Okay. Christmas and New Year. Dígame, eh, María Dolores. Birthday. Uh, birthday. Birthdays. Oh, well, yeah, birthdays. Uh -huh. Very good. Anyone else? Mary, Mary, Mary or weddings. Wedding. Come on. Wedding. wedding. Yeah, the wedding. Okay. That's totally right. A wedding, right? Uh, it's a, a, se supone, verdad? One, one time in your life, así que it should be special. Okay. Uh, Maria Dolores, diga. Eh, aniversario, el, el aniversario de bodas es ese mismo. Yeah, wedding, wedding anniversary. Mm -hmm. Wedding anniversary. Okay, dice Flor Noemi, the celebration for me. Ah, your your daughter's birthday. También él se dice your children's birthday. It's okay. Ajá, varias, varias de ustedes están diciendo lo mismo, miren. Dice también Jocelyn, I love Christmas because I love fireworks so much, dice. Well, the I did. Uh -huh. The New Year's. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Uh huh. Uh, it's 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 cool because you are with your family. You know, just waiting to hug each other so you can wish everyone, you know, a happy New Year, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, right. But uh, yes, I mean there are some important occasions, you know, that have been, um, like. Uh, Unmarcado, that they have been very important in your life. Now, what about presents, guys? What is the best present that you have ever received? What is the best present that you have ever received? Type it in the chat. What is the best present that you have ever received? Mm 
Uh -huh. Voy a borrar aquí lo de la pizarrita. A laptop, dice Daniel Alejandro. Ok, cool. I like that. Ok. A car, dice Julio César. Wow. Was that your dad? Julio César. Yeah. Ok, cool. I like that. I mean, I, it was a, a, a brand new car. Oh, really? Wow, that yeah. was wonderful. A brand new mm -hmm. car from your from your dad, ok? Dice Ivan Jordan Shoes, dice Carla, have all my family together to celebrate my birthday. Wow, dice Daniel. Many things, dice Xiomara. My best present was a blue skirt, dice Flor Noemi. Ok, very good. You know, the very first thing that came to my mind, hugs from my mother and money, dice Jocelyn, ok? Yeah, love, a lot of love and money, dice, ok? Uh, plasma TV. In my case, the very first thing that came to my mind when I read the question was, was an image of me holding my baby. That was, you know, the very first thing that came to my mind. Because uh, actually it was very, you know, unexpected and this fue lo primero que se me vino a la mente. Me holding my, my, my newborn baby, right? And yes, of course, right? Si hablamos ya de cosas, of course, um, there are many things, right, that um, I have received. But I remember once I was given uh, a set of, you know, um, paints, brushes, and lots of things so I could, you know, work on paper. Me encanta trabajar en papel, así que I was given a lot of materials, right, to work on paper. So that was... Wonderful. Okay, uh, so th that was, you know, my example. After these guys, uh, pretty much what we're going to be working on, right? And thank you. Gracias de verdad por todo lo que me compartieron. Super interesante. Uh, something that um, we're going to be working on and that's going to be for tomorrow is uh, related to clauses. My nephew, dice Gisela, Gisela, my nephew. Yes, I have to. I do have a nephew too, but I, I mean, I don't know him in person. I just see him through the phone or uh, phone calls, right? Video calls. So, okay. yeah. We'll not check the list again. Which list? I'm sorry. Yo voy a entrar un poquito tarde. Tal vez no estoy anotado ahí. Ah, no, todavía no. Ya vamos a pasar la lista. Mm -hmm. Ya casi. Uh, so here we have uh, the conversation. From this conversation, we're going to get to this part. De aquí, chicos, vamos a empezar a hablar un poquito de esto, acerca de relative clauses of time, okay? Now, relative clauses solamente de tiempo, porque relative clauses tenemos un montón, ¿verdad? O sea, tenemos varias categorías. But in the book, it is just mentioned with relative clauses of time, okay? And we are going to be... Uh, working with uh, these specifically. Here in the conversation, we have the follow, right? It says, listen and practice. So we have a conversation between Leo and Natasha, right? Did you know next week is Halloween? It's, Octo it's on October 31st. So what do you do on Halloween? We don't have the holiday in Russia. Well, it's a day when kids dress up in masks and costumes. They knock on people's doors and ask for candy by saying the words trick or treat. Hmm, sounds interesting. But it's not just for kids. Lots of people have costumes parties. Hey, my friend Pete is having a party. Would you like to go? Sure, I love to. Okay. Now. Here, right, as you can see, we have uh, three different sentences related to the conversation. Well, one is related to the conversation. Halloween is a day when kids in the United States dress up in masks and costumes, okay? Halloween is a day when. Now, guys, relative clauses work in this way. It's like giving a definition. Es como dar una definición de algo, pero en este caso hablamos de relative clauses of time. Por eso incluimos when. November 2nd is the day when. Fall is the season when. Si ustedes ven la palabra when acá, estamos hablando de relative clauses of time. Pero mañana vamos a continuar. Solo quería nada más dejar como la introducción. Ahorita pasamos lista, ¿verdad? Para mencionar a los que no nos habían contestado y pues ahí finalizamos. Ed, no, Ada Agar Burgos Magaña. 
present. Thank you. Brenda Isabel Castro Ruiz. Present. Thank you, Claudia Lisette Velasquez de Salgado. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, luego tengo acá a Francisco Ernesto Jiménez Rivera. I'm here. Thank you, Gabriel José Hernández López. Present, teacher. Thank you, Héctor Iván Pérez Martínez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Iván Ibrahim Ramírez Quijano. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carla Alicia Barrera Mena. Present, teacher. Thank you, Carla Elena López Rivas. No vino. Eh, luego tengo a Wendy Paola López Martínez. Present, teacher. Gracias. Y Jocelyn Elizabeth González Cartagena. Present, teacher. Gracias, chicos. Eh, nada más recordarle, ¿verdad? Eh, tenemos que trabajar en la sección 3, midterm exam. Tenemos que mandar el comprobante del manual, ¿verdad? Ahí les dejaron en, en WhatsApp, les dejaron el, 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 el archivito para que usted lo llene, lo firme y lo mande, ¿verdad? De regreso. Y pues nada más siempre recordarle, ¿verdad? Procuren no faltar, aunque sea conéctese. Si de repente se presentó algo, no importa, pero usted conéctese a su clase, ¿verdad? Para que no pierda tampoco los minutos de conexión, que son muy importantes. Así que, guys, thank you very much for joining today. I uh, will see you tomorrow. Okay, so if you have questions, write them down and we will clarify your doubts during class. Okay, so good night, guys. And Take see you care. tomorrow. Good night, good night. 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 Bye bye, guys.